Hi everybody, I'm doing a video for the Mindful Monday this week. Uh, don't forget, I actually, because I've been receiving a lot of emails about intuition and how people can sense it in their own body, I created um, a page called Intuition Can Save Your Life. And I call it an eye guide, an intuition guide, and it'll explain to you what, um, how intuition sits in your body when it comes to your relationships, when it comes to your business, and obviously when it comes to saving your life, um, your health in particular. So take, take a look at it often, and, um, and then you'll get these Mindful Mondays every week. So what I wanna to talk to you about is mediums. Somebody asked me if I believe in mediums and the short answer is yes. Um, and the only reason that I do actually believe in mediums is because I am experiencing things that I don't know how I'm experiencing them, but I think when I flatlined and came back, it just allowed me to feel and sense energy that I've never felt before. So I'm gonna give you one example, but this is one of many that have been happening over the last four years, five years actually. I, I'm running out because it's Jacob's birthday party today and we're celebrating five years at the end of this month, uh, his happy birthday and my rebirthday. Okay, so, uh, so the one quick story was um, we were, with a new couple at starting the school year, and I didn't know them. They're from uh, they're from the Netherlands, and then uh, we we were talking with them. They found a little bit about my story, and then Jonathan had been in the office, and uh, all of a sudden I saw something. I saw this couple, and I saw a man standing next to this man, and. You know, I know nothing about this couple, but I, you know, I had two choices. I could either say something or not say something. And if I say something, then I'm the crazy person and the crazy mom that, you know, everybody in the school is going to be like, hey, hey, stay away from her. She's crazy. So, um, I didn't fully know what I was seeing, but I asked this man, I said, um, Daniel, um, is your father passed? And he said, yes, he died when I was seven years old. I said, okay, he's here. And he wants me to tell you that he's always here. He's always around you. And I started describing what he looked like. And I said, um, and I'm seeing a scene that is um, of him watching you with your children and, you know, saying what an unbelievable father you are. He's also telling me that, uh, he sees your mother and he functions like a guardian angel towards your mother. And he said, that's really amazing to hear. And he was asking me a lot of questions. And I said, I don't, I he'd like, what is my father doing up in heaven? And is he always here? And I'm like, I, I don't know that I see these things in three second clips. But uh, he says to me, he says, I doubt that what you said about my mother is true um, because they really didn't like each other. And in fact, he, you know, she told me things about him, like to uh, kind of poisoned my feelings towards him. And my biggest regret was, you know, I never got to really know him before he died. And so I said, you know, I'm sorry. Obviously, I don't know what I'm talking about. You know, this might have been wishful thinking. This, you know, I, I have no idea. So I'm like, let's just have dinner and let's forget about it. So the very next day, the wife calls me and she says, Stephanie, are you sitting down? And I said, and she said, well, you know, I had a chance to talk to Daniel's mother. And mind you, she hasn't really ever said a nice thing about the father. And, um, and you know, I was telling her about you and your story and what you said. And she said, um, well, it's actually true. And he said, she said, well, what are you talking about? She's like, well, you know, when I'm in, you know, a questionable time in my life or in dire straits or what have you, a song in, from the 1950s in Vienna will come on the radio. And I know that it's him and I get great comfort knowing that he's my guardian angel. So that was one of the first few moments that I felt like I was tapping into something I didn't understand I'm still tapping into things I don't fully understand I'm talking to um, someone specifically about quantum entanglement to understand maybe you know when I when I meet somebody or I talk to somebody or somebody approaches me on the internet 
um, that I'm able to connect with them, but I don't fully understand it. Um, I am continuing to share as these stories come through. I am in the process of writing the second book, so you will hear more of these stories and all my research and trying to figure out if I can actually get an answer to it. The funny thing is, is in 37 seconds, you know, Jonathan was the one questioning everything that was going on. And I was, you know, saying, no, this is definitely a spiritual experience. And now I feel like I'm the one that's questioning everything that's happening in my body and in my mind and in my spirit. And Jonathan's like, no, I accept it. So go figure. Anyway, have a happy mindful Monday. Um, be aware of everything around you. I send you lots of love and light and have a beautiful blessed day. Take care.